Hello. Hi. Talk to me here. Yes. Talk to me. <laughs> um, so let, let us know your name and how long you've trained here. Okay, so I'm Danny Almanado and I have been here since November last year. Awesome. For like eight months. Um, tell us about um, why you started training. So I just had my son and he was six weeks. So I could go back to the gym, start exercising again, but I had to bring him somewhere. So I didn't like the creche idea at like, you know, your Fernwood, because I couldn't see him. So when I saw the advertisement on Facebook for the mummy class, the perfect. And then rocked up and I knew Michaela, who looks after the kids, so I was comfortable. Um, I could see him, so yeah. And then, um, so you, tell us about, um, so now that you've um, trained with, uh, in, in that class mm -hmm. for um, a while now, um, tell us about what you started doing in terms of um, the nutrition and extra PT and why you decided to do that. So I started, I did the 21 day challenge in January um, and I got a lot out of that, but I didn't like my fitness power. It was really irritating, so I sort of lost it towards the end. So when the nutrition program came up, that it was this you know, new program, didn't have to use my fitness power, it's like, okay, I'll give it a go. I was eating right, but the foods weren't at the right times or um, not the right sort of macro combination. Um, so I wanted to build more muscle. So I thought that adding PT to that and then the nutrition would help me get there. Because I didn't know if PT alone would do it. Um, so give it all a go and <laughs> hope for the best. <laughs> um, so that's good. Um, but like, what did you, like, so obviously you wanted to do that to, to get more knowledge and improve the nutrition and yep. then also build muscle mass. Yeah. Like, like talk, talk about like, um, like why, so it is still, we're still pretty much working on why you, you started that and um, like, like for yourself, like why, why do you want to like, why did you want to do that? Like The nutrition? Like both, all of it. Both things, all of it. Like, so you, you probably started just to be like, okay, there's a crash here that's convenient. I'm yeah. going to start training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, I want to get fit. Yeah. And where to get to the point for more? You got to like, um, that point where it's like, hey, I, I really like this. Yeah. Now what? I'm feeling more <laughs> confident or something. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's like, I, I really want to like do some, have this for myself. Yeah, know? it it was. It was definitely for myself. So. Like for once, it was like I was enjoying coming to the gym. I was enjoying being here, like that time for me. So just doing it the three days, I was like, I want more. So those two extra days help me. Like it clears my head for the rest of the day. Um, it pushes me, gives me energy. So I love that aspect of it. So that's why I wanted to do more, more days as well. Um, and yeah, like I, I just saw I wasn't getting anywhere in the classes. I was like, I, I came to a halt. Um, so I thought by doing the PT, if I work on things I'm not strong at and focus on that, then my overall performance will increase as well. Because um, there are some things I've, I've now learned doing the PT that um, I didn't even know, you know, I had issues with, like my shoulder, my knee, doing certain movements. So now we're working on that and it's good. It helps me out in everything else. Um, so that's some stuff you've learned out of PT. Yeah, yeah. Um, how how does that make you, um, so the journey of doing all that extra stuff, um, how does that make you feel? I'm so much happier. Yeah, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's just the energy here or if it's because I'm dedicating the time to myself, but I just, I walk out happier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What do you think, um, so like this combination of training and um, doing um, now the nutrition and the PT, um, so let's kind of reverse the question and be like, um, you feel happier 
So why do you think you maybe I have like not saying that you weren't happy, yeah, yeah. but you were less in a state where you weren't as happy for yourself prior to doing all this stuff? Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. That kind of like moment or general feeling or area where you're a bit stagnant. I don't think it's necessarily the 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 extra I put into the the PT, but it's I think it's more the conversations and and um, things I get out of Christina um, that come along with that. So yeah, I work hard and, and I put that in, but it's also the personal aspect that helps me get there, that helps me walk out happier and and that as well. So it's it's more of a personal environment. Um, and that was, I was as well one of the reasons I was doing it. Um. <laughs> cool. Um, what else? What else? What else do you think um, you can share with um, people out there that may be training with us already, mm -hmm. or just pretty yep. much for people that are training with us that um, you think is good to know in regards to what you're doing in personal training? Um, and nutrition that might be more than what you thought it was originally. Because yeah. a lot of people just think personal training, okay, so you're gonna get trained um, one on one a little bit yeah. more specifically, nutrition, or you're gonna get a meal plan. Yeah. But then no. you've you found more Yeah, than yeah, that, it's more than that. So I was I was a little bit hesitant to do it because I was like, Well, I'm not overweight. You know, what exactly am I gonna get out of it? You know but it is more of that lifestyle, so you have that knowledge of, of what to eat, when to eat, and what it actually does for you, um, no matter what your size or what you're trying to get out of it. Um, so it's not just for those wanting to lose weight. Um, and then the PT, oh, it, uh, Christina asked me what I want to get out of it. And initially it was, yeah, okay, to build upper body strength because that's where I wanted to build. Um, but now that we've been doing it a little bit, um, I'm finding a lot more things that, that we can do and, and, um, and achieve that I can't do in classes. Um, so more of the gymnastic stuff regularly, um, that's helping me do the wads. Um, yeah. Yeah, so how does that make you feel like when you do like, stuff in classes? Yeah. Now? Oh, epic. Like it, so much more confidence doing it now rather than okay, I can do it, okay. Like you're sort of building up that, that self-esteem to, to go and do that exercise, but now it's, it's great, just jump right in because you have that one-on-one -on -one time. Um, and you can also like fix things that you're, you're not doing great. Um, so yeah, you, you can do it, but let's do a little bit better um, and focus on some skill. Yeah, so was that like a little bit of a like thing when you were in classes, maybe seeing people doing certain things being like, oh, I want to do that. Yeah. And then like also, oh, I yeah. don't really know how to do all this. Yeah. No, stuff. I'll get there one day. Mm, yeah. One day. But um, yeah, like so quickly, like my kipping has improved massively from one session with Christina, like one. So, so things like that, yeah, for sure. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it. Cool. That's it. I <laughs>